When you hear the term Roblox horror, what does your mind immediately jump to? Some may say Piggy, The Mimic, The Wretched, but for me, when I hear Roblox horror, I immediately think of doors. Not like the thing you open. I'm talking about the horror game, Doors. And can I say, for the time Doors was released, it was genuinely a breath of fresh air for the Roblox horror community. Doors, being both inspired by Nico Rock's rooms and Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, is a progression horror game where you have to go through 100 rooms. But except, it's not gonna be as easy as just, you know, walking through all of them. You're not alone. There are entities and monsters willing to hunt you down so you won't make it. There is entities such as a giant black fog that has a terrifying face in it, heads with inky tentacles, giant flesh beasts, and one-eyed humanoids. And there's a lot more that I won't get into. But they are all hungry for flesh and are willing to hunt you down so that they can get their hands on you. Doors as a concept is really simple to understand. If Doors was a go from point A to point B game, it would just get very boring and stale. So the game is split up into two different sections that appear twice in the game. The first one is with the one-eyed character, Seek. His section appears twice in the game, both at door 20 through 40 to door 60 through 80. There, when he spawns, he chases down the player through five rooms, and then that's where it kind of ends. So it's basically his entire section is just chasing you. But the giant flesh beast has something different. Figure. Figure actually appears in the middle of the game, door 50, where at door 50 is a giant library, and above the balcony is a door where it leads to the next room. But except there's a padlock on it, and you have to figure out the puzzle. Once done, you get to go through. Figure appears again, but except this time at door 100. Door 100 resembles a factory a little bit, since there's a lot of industrial stuff with it. Once done with the puzzle, you actually get to go into an elevator, leading to the end of the game. But except, Figure is not done yet. He hops on the elevator, breaks the cable, and falls into a mine shaft. It is seen that the elevator is falling, and then near the end, it crashes. But it cuts so a 2 be continued. So meaning, Doors is confirmed to have a floor 2. And by the way, this was back in 2022. So meaning, floor 2 has been in development since 2022 but after a two year long wait floor two is finally here and without further delay let's get into it the game starts with the player in the elevator once more falling but then it does eventually hit something a new floor the mines The mines appears as a messy, abandoned, occasionally flooded mining site comprised of different rooms and sections. Interior spaces are made of various materials such as rock, steel, and wood, and have amenities such as lights, ladders, lockers, minecarts, and generators. Like the hotel, players will have to make their way through various randomly generated rooms, each separated by a numbered door in the corridor. The player's goal is to reach the final door in order to reach an exit and successfully escape. And we immediately see this with the players having to find two lights in order to activate a generator to press a button to open up a corridor. Once we do, we go to the first room. The room shows a minecart in the middle of the place. There are two railways, one to an infinite void, and the other one is barricaded. We flip the lever in the middle, and we push the cart towards the barricaded one. It broke it. Doors already immediately introduces us to a new mechanic that's going to be relevant for some time. And honestly, I think that's really great. Immediately introducing the player to this mechanic and forcing them to actually complete it in order to progress is really good. After that, we go through various rooms, encountering new entities. And I guess I can introduce all of them now. First one up, Giggles. Giggles are really similar to facehuggers, but less disgusting. Giggles usually hide on roofs just so they can surprise the player. Once the player is below them, it will immediately jump onto their face and blind them for a couple seconds. In order to get rid of them, I think, you have to shake your screen in order to get them off. Once you do, they immediately jump off and then die. I, I guess that's what they lift up for. Next one, 
Gloom Bats. Gloom Bats are a swarm of fly-like bats that attack the player only if they have a light source. And this is proven too with them breaking the lights before you enter. Plus, these are like really easy entities, you just don't turn on your light at all. That's, it's really simple as that. Although this next entity isn't technically a new entity, but I still count it as a new entity, this entity only appears when you exit your locker. If you look inside, it's the physical form of hide. If you try to go in again, it takes a portion of your health and it just gives you this weird effect and you can't go in. And that's kind of all the new entities. Although, except there's one more, but he is pretty important, so I'm gonna keep him hidden for now. Anyways, when we go through the rooms, we encounter the previous entities. Screech, Rush, and you pretty much know the gig. Hell, even Timothy is still here and no one really remembers him a lot. But anyways, after going through 10 rooms, we encounter our first obstacle. Although a little someone comes back and it's the figure. Yep, he comes back in this room, but except he doesn't really do anything. You can't jump down there, so he's kind of just morally there for show. Figure appears in every 10 rooms sometimes. Although, to my knowledge, he only appears three times in the game, so he's not too much of a worry. After some time, we see familiar face come out of a drain. Seek. And oh my god, why is this chase scene so long? There is one part that I really like though, where you have to duck while in a minecart sometimes, which is really fun. But after that, Seek's chase scene is over. But rather, someone I've kept hidden for a little bit appears. Grumble. Grumble is a matured version of Giggle, which we can clearly see. His section is relatively hard to actually complete. You have to find four devices and input the passwords into them. But except Grumble is wandering around, and he's not like Figure. He can see you. Also note that, that he is attracted to light, so if you have any glow sticks, you could just throw them and he'll probably just go straight towards them. Probably. But after that section is done, it's basically the same from here. But except, we get to go to a new section. The sewer. The sewer appears to be the same as the mines, but except in a more medieval looking aspect. Nothing of note really happens during this section besides having to go underwater for a little bit, but that's kind of all. But once again, we get to go into another seek chase scene. It's kind of the same as before, minus the minecart. But after that, we make it to door 100. The door most of us have been dreading. Once we go in, we immediately see a giant pit. And something emerges out of that pit. A giant blob of Seek. Then we have to turn some fouls while he's attacking us, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much not important. Once we drain him, we finally get to go. There's the exit. And after a long climb, we make it to the outside. Is this it? Is this really how doors end? Oh, wait, never mind. So apparently there's just this random castle that's there. Yeah, okay. But we open up the doors and something crazy happens Oh, great. Alright guys, get ready for two years of more mid. I'm just joking, but I swear, if we wait another two years for floor three, I'm actually gonna kill myself. But yeah, that's floor two. Was it worth the wait? Yes. Is it really hard to complete? 100%. Is it better than floor one? Yeah. I'm not saying floor two is bad or anything. I just feel like floor one had something more going on with it than, you know, the mo But yeah, that's basically doors floor two. And honestly, I did kind of enjoy this. Although there were some parts that were irritating, but trust me, it's still pretty much fun if you play with some friends. 
I actually played Doors Floor 2 with Shadow, and I really wish we could record our reactions, because trust me, they're actually really funny. But yeah, I really liked Doors Floor 2. Anyway, see y'all in like another two months when I make a video on like Fortnite or something. Okay, bye.